Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. In this episode I'm going to discuss a feature that Clang added a few releases ago called Heap Elision. So generally speaking in C++ if you allocate memory like this you're going to expect to see a new and delete. Obviously you're calling new and delete. And this is with all optimizations enabled. I've got dash 03 here. And this is because we expect that these are functions that have side effects that are observable outside of the local scope. However, the Clang team managed to get a change into the C++14 standard that allows them to elide the heap when they can prove that it does not have any visible effects outside of the current scope. So now we have GCC on top and Clang on the bottom. And as we can see, Clang has completely removed our program for us, and it's just doing an XOR of EAX, EAX saying that main is returning zero. And this is because we're not doing anything in the program except allocating some memory and then deleting it and GCC is unable as of yet to perform the same optimization. And in fact, as far as I know, Kling is the only compiler that can. This has some interesting effects here. So if we were to comment out the delete, we now have a program that has a memory leak. So we've got our main that calls new and allocates some memory and then returns without ever deallocating this memory. Kling, on the other hand, kind of hides this from us. And you know, it doesn't really matter in a function like main where we are exiting immediately and then the operating system is going to free up that memory for us. But we could write another function Now, I'm doing this partially just to prove a point, but we have that we are allocating a 1000 integer array here and in our do something function, we are calling new with a thousand things, and then we are assigning the value 5 to the first item and then returning 5. And we see that kind of happening here in the return value of EAX from our do something function. But in our clang output, we're simply returning the value 5. So now if we make multiple calls to this, we can see that in our main, this has all been inlined in our GCC output, and I'm going to add a static keyword here just to clean up the assembler output a little bit. So now we only see the inlined code. And on GCC, we see that we are allocating this array of 4,000 bytes or 1,000 integers twice, and then we it already knows the answer. It's added 5 plus 5 for us, and it is returning 10, but it's still doing these allocations. And then in Clang, we see that we are simply returning the value 10. This is a really cool feature that Clang has added, and it has an interesting side effect in that it can possibly actually hide memory leaks from you that would show up on every other platform. And it also has some limitations. Let's look at vector. If we want to create a vector of 100 values, we can see that neither compiler is able to eliminate this new and delete that is necessary. We can see it creating a vector of 400 bytes, allocating it, and deleting it. And in fact, even if we were to do this kind of thing, where we know that the compiler can trace what we're doing, and in fact we can see right here that it is moving the value 5 into EAX, and knows that that is the return value from main, it is still doing the new and the delete. So it is, does have some limitations as far as inlining and as far as the ability to actually remove this, but it's also able to generate significantly less code even in this more complex case in, than GCC is able to. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.